Welcome back, God's 4 and one I'm Kim, and this is Jim, and we're back with another encouraging message today. Yeah, today we wanted to talk about how we believe there's a lot of you out there whose heart has gotten hardened. And what I mean by hardened is you have a lot of resentment, anger yeah, built up, forgiveness, bitterness. Yeah. bitterness. And, and these things don't go away. They just... Faster. faster, yeah, in your heart. I want you guys to comment if you feel God speaking to you right now and he's saying, you know what, that's you. Yeah. Comment and say, yeah, you know, my heart is a little hardened. Yeah. And, and why? I mean, forgiveness or anger. Resentment. We have a great story, an analogy about this, but I want to give you a verse. And as I'm telling the story, I want you to think about this verse. And the verse is in Ezekiel 36, 26. God is going to give you a new spirit. He's going to take away your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. This weekend, Kim and I were thatching the lawn, which was a lot of fun. And as I was thatching the lawn, God gave me this really great analogy about our heart's yeah. condition. And if you guys are familiar with thatching, what happens is, you know, your grass, it looks really green on the top. Yeah. But down below, you start to get all this dead grass. Yeah. And eventually what happens is, if you don't take care of it and you don't thatch your lawn, the ugly brown stuff will start to turn your whole lawn really bad. Mm -hmm. So we were thatching, we were going out there and I had the machine, you know, and I'm pulling up just all these mounds of just dead grass. And it's amazing to me how much deadness yeah. was underneath the green grass. It was a ton. It was a ton. So we're done and the lawn looks like it's crap. Dead. It just it looks like terrible. I mean, there's brown spots, there's dirt's exposed. I mean, it looks much worse than when we started. I'm like, oh my goodness. So then God really spoke to me and told me that's what people's hearts are like mm. on the outside you know what people see you know your heart may be you you're a pretender you're you're kind of yeah right you, yeah. you act like everything's okay everything's, everything's good, happy smile and right great. Yeah. but on the inside like with underneath the grass you have anger and bitterness and resentment and all this stuff that's making your heart stone mm -hmm. like it says in Ezekiel 36 yeah. and at times we have to dig up all that stuff. Like the lawn, it's painful, yeah. you know, to dig up. I mean, to forgive people yeah, and to let so. go of anger and do all this stuff in your life. It's painful. And it's going to leave your heart raw mm -hmm. when you do that. And, and just like the grass, it's just going to be in a state of Shock. repair that needs yeah. a lot of repair, right? Mm -hmm. But through reading your Bible and prayer, just like at the lawn, if you fertilize it and water it, it's going to come back. Your heart will come back and you'll have that heart of flesh, which is loving again. So we really hope that this encouraged you guys today. And if um, we, you know, you will want to pray over Ezekiel 36 and, you know, and ask the Holy Spirit to um, convict you of any ugliness or anything you need to work on in your heart. We all do at mm -hmm. times. I mean, we all have stuff that we need to work on. And, you know, really ask God to take that heart of stone and make it into a heart of flesh yeah. full of love and peace and joy. So we hope this video encouraged you. Um, if you know that someone that needs this video, that needs to hear this message, uh, please share it and get the word out. Yeah. We will see you guys next video. Bye. Bye-bye.